fucking hard to be healthy at first, guys. To eat healthy. And I'm talking about very clean. There's so many levels. Because first, you gotta let yourself have the shit. Because many of us grew up not being able to have it. And until you clear that, until you actually don't want it, it's a different kind of prison. You're basically saying, I want this junk food, but I can't have it because it's unhealthy. You gotta let yourself have it first. Then when the desire is out of you to actually have it and you see, holy shit, this food actually isn't compatible with my body, the actual organic shit, green juices, is so unavailable in, gro in some grocery stores comparatively to the shit that is available. And, I mean, you gotta step out of so many illusions of what health actually is, too, because people who control the food systems know that most people know that most food is shit, even at a subconscious level. So there has to be all these agendas to pull people when they're, when they're escaping the, the main food matrix. So you escape the main food matrix, oh yeah, like, you know, hot dogs are bad for you. Then they try and pull you into veganism, where there's a bunch of new shit you have to wake up to and realize that it's not actually healthy for you. You know, and then like gluten-free, all the, there's all these uh, psyops, if you will, that pull you away from what true health is. They take an aspect of the truth and they create a psyop around it. They still want you to be bogged down by uh, more or less toxicity in your body. It's genius. But it's, it takes time. Be gentle with yourself as you move out of these systems. And it's okay if you're vegan, but for many of us, it's not going to be compatible. And even if you're vegan, you can still be aware of the agenda of veganism. It's a huge agenda, guys. Huge agenda. It's not for your best interests. And it's one thing to be vegan and raw vegan and all that stuff. But if you're vegan, but you're eating all the fake processed cheese, like the vegan cheese, the vegan Beyond Meats and, and all that shit, it's, it's like you might as well just have meats at that point stuff is so toxic and that stuff is readily available in grocery stores most of them even you know it should be a red flag when burger king has like the impossible burger you know taco bell is beyond meat or whatever whatever you know these fast food chains start having fake meats it should be a big red flag instead of oh boy now i can have an excuse to eat the trash allow yourself if you need a lot of us have to go through this period in our lives, I'm kind of ending this now, where you have to allow yourself to eat the trash. It's okay. Have have a year, have two years of, of eating the stuff that you told yourself you couldn't have, right? Eat the sugar, eat, um, eat the processed meats, eat the cheeses, eat gluten, eat it all until you reach a point where you realize that it's not good for you, right? Eat the sugar, eat everything. There'll be a point where you don't have to force it anymore. Until you allow yourself that, you'll keep coming back to the, to the toxic food. So allow yourself to eat like trash is step one.